This video, although it started slowly, is how to make a square cover for a Teachers Pay Teachers product. Um, the square covers look better. So um, I'm going to show you using PowerPoint. I'm going to pick Make a Blank Presentation. I'm going to click Design, Slide Size, Custom. I'm going to pick 10 inches by 10 inches. I'm doing this slowly so you can actually see what to do. <clears throat> and I'm going to show you a lettering trick. Now here it's going to say maximize ensure fit. I want to maximize. I want it square. So, and then I'm going to take off this Part. Okay, and I'm going to find a prod, um, picture on GL stock images. So I'm using a picture, but you can use clip art or whatever. And I'm going to make it for this picture, creative writing, show, don't tell. So I'm going to put that in there. And um, I am going to do something a little fancy to the letters so my text fill is going to be white don't worry it didn't disappear text outline I think I'm going to pick purple here it's text fill text outline text outline weight you can see which one's picked I think I'll pick that one and then I will also make it bold so there I have some letters. Now this is, doesn't fit exactly and I don't want that one on the next line. Okay, so I'm going to insert my new picture and I'm on a PC but I know PowerPoint also works on um, Macs. So this is just using PowerPoint. Here I have a lovely book. Um, and so I want to put some kind of color in the background, um, not that dark. You can pick or you can format your own background. Maybe I'll put gradient and, oh, I don't know, two, two colors. I'll do solid, <laughs> so sorry. Um, and I pick a color, something real light in the background. Now I have um, white in my picture and I, if I do transparency, it's not gonna look as nice. So I'm going to insert a shape. I'm going to insert the curved lines one. Okay, now I'm going to format. So I'm going to pull it down, pull it up, and I'm going to make okay, the shape fill white because there's white on my picture, the shape outline purple, the shape weight maybe like that. No, it's too much. You don't want it too dark. And then I'm going to send backwards twice. Okay, now I have to arrange this a little bit more. We need the picture so it's not sticking off. And then we need the words. Uh, oops, undo. Like that. Um, and this is a writing lesson. So maybe I'm going to put a pencil in. And I'm going to go to my pictures. Um, oh, there are free pencils on TPT. Clip art, there's just like a whole bunch of them. Um, Creative Clips has one. Other people have one. So you want maybe a free pencil. I think this is 
not a free one, but um, you can find free ones. Okay. So, and showing sentences are really, really important. Now, a big thing now is to save it as a JPEG. Save it as your um, picture. I'm going to put show, do not tell. I'll put in writing. And you should always put the little hyphens between the words for SEO and all that kind of stuff. For anything you do, is just get in that habit. Now I want to save this as a JPEG. So I have one nice full size copy. And that might go on teacher's notebook or a different one. There's only one slide. Then I want to save it as a JPEG because you have to be below 200 KB on Teachers Pay Teachers. So I'm going to put JPEG. There's only one slide, but it's just that one. Okay, so I have my basic file that I want to keep. And I have um, made my lessons nice. And I know where it's going to go. But now I just have to do a little resizing. So here I'm going to open with paint. Um, if your computer doesn't have paint, you probably have a different program. So resize. I'm going to try 700. Sometimes you have to try more than one. Sometimes you don't. And then I'm going to check this JPEG size. I'm going to check properties. It's 226, so that's too big for TPT because I need it to be just under 200. So I'm going to resize again. I'm going to try 575. I want it as big as I can without going over the TPT um, limits. Okay, that's my picture. But what are the properties? 171, that's good. So I could put the JPEG on TPT, the PNG, or that's the PowerPoint, the PNG one, maybe I could put on um, Teacher's Notebook. And then save everything so that you have it. You can also save as a PDF and put on the first page of your product. Thanks for listening.